and welcome back. My name is Puggle, and today we are playing Flix and Chill. If you don't know what this game is, it's basically a dating simulator. And the whole goal of the game is to get the bounce wow wow, you know what I mean? Like, you get to have all these different uh, sayings that you can say to uh, the AI. So, like, you can say, hey, do you want to watch this superhero movie or do you want to watch this love movie? And you'll get to choose between those two options. And the decisions you make in game affect the outcome. So the end of the game is different based off your choices. So let's go ahead and play the original. I know you guys are going to enjoy this one because it's the love story between Jason and Marta. They met on Tinder or Grindr. I don't really know, but they met there and we're about to make love happen. So, let's go ahead and get it going, boys and girls. All right, we just got the confirmation from Marta that she is on her way over to do a little bit of Netflix and chill. We're gonna hop on that couch right there and we are gonna watch some good stuff. What do you guys think? Oh boy, my Tinder date will be here super soon. Man, I hope it goes well. That, yes, that is the voice I will be using for our boy Jason. So bear with me. I chose a nerdy voice because that is how I would do it in real life. You know, because I am the resident expert on girls and getting girls. I mean, ladies love me. What can I say? They see me with my pug and my beagle and they're like, oh my gosh, puppies. And I'm like, yeah, puppies. <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go. Just need to get a few things set up. Like my sex dungeon. Let's do it, Jason. What are we setting up? We got set up the TV? Oh, yeah. Set up the TV. Of course, the TV. All right. Netflix is a go. Yeah, you can't do nothing without Netflix. I mean, for real. Now, all we need is the chill. Oh, we're going to set that chill up. Here we go. There it is right there. The chill. Oh, the chill's not a lamp, is it? Oh, wow. The ambiance. <laughs> Chill us dress. Oh, she's here. Oh, that must be my date. Is it just me or are you guys nervous too? I feel like I'm actually on a first date here. Damn. Oh man, does my hair look good? Do I have something in my teeth? Oh yeah, I don't have teeth. Phew. <laughs> One less thing to worry about. Yeah, that's right, Jason. You don't have teeth, you don't have a nose, and you don't have eyes. So don't worry about it. She can't say you're ugly. Here goes nothing. Deep breath, Jason, deep breath. Just another person, just another person that will decide to do the bow chick wow wow if you are smart. Which I'm gonna help you out because I'm gonna be your inner voice, Jason. I will be the one that helps you with everything. Okay, open that door. Ooh, hey Marta. Oh, hello. Hello there, welcome to my abode. This is my love shack. Uh, so. What do we do? Do we hug? Do we shake hands or do we high five? I feel like we should definitely go for a hug. I feel like shaking hands is kind of awkward and too like professional. And I feel like a high five is the dorkiest thing you could ever do. I feel like that's the instant friend zone. And I don't want to be friend zone. I'm here on a mission. A mission to get that brown chick. Wow, wow. Okay, so we're going to go for the hug. Oh, that's creepy. <laughs> oh, um, cool place. Damn. We just got rejected! Oh! It hurts! It hurts! Oh! Marta! You did us dirty! Dot dot dot! <laughs> Fuck, I didn't see that coming. Were you talking to yourself a moment ago? Yes! I was! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go with yes! I definitely was! Uh, yeah, you heard that? Guess I got a little nervous on dates. That's okay, I'm a little nervous too. I talk to myself all the time, especially when I'm nervous. Sweet, so we're bonding over something. We got something similar. Haha, uh -huh, you two? Well, glad to hear I'm not totally crazy. Well, come on in. <laughs> Time to chill, baby. So I think what I'm going to do, my, my goal is to be cool, casual, and it approach this how I would in real life. You know what I mean? I'm going to try and be a gentleman, be nice, and, you know, relate to her on everything I can. And we'll see how it goes. And then I will also do other iterations where I do me being really aggressive the whole time. And then I'll do one where I'm being a, a complete jerk to her. 
to see how that goes for you guys. We'll get all the endings for this first one. So what are we watching? Hmm. So a documentary? No. A romantic comedy? A possibility. And a superhero series? Definitely not. I mean, unless you know something about the girl and she says she likes action hero shit, then the Seth the safe bet is going to be the romantic comedy. That's what I'm going to pick. Some new romantic comedy that came out about some girl that parties too much. Oh, my type of movie. I think there's a famous basketball player in there or something. A lot of people like it. That sounds funny. Let's watch. Oh, yeah. We're getting our brownie points already. We messed up the first, the first impression, but that's okay. We are going to make it up. Ten minutes later. Oh, yeah. We might already be making love. About you. Jason, so, uh, I just realized that with these movie dates, it's kind of hard to get to know the person, you know? That's not our goal, Jason. Couldn't agree more! So, what do you say we... Dot, dot, dot. Have a conversation or move on to something a little more interesting? I'm gonna go for the conversation because I feel like the other one is implying we do a little bit of the bow chicken wow wow and I don't even know this girl's last name yet so we're gonna have a conversation have a conversation <laughs> conversations are always nice what do you want to have a conversation about let's have a deep intellectual discussion about society oh that doesn't sound like a good idea you never talk about society. <laughs> I'm okay, that's a pretty broad subject though. Have anything more specific in mind? Oh no. Down with society? What are your political views? Oh man. Oh gosh. So I feel like with the first one I could pull off it being a joke. The second one I feel like you just shouldn't talk about that type of stuff ever. Ever. It never ends well. Down with society. Aha, uh -huh. you're joking right? Of course I am. No, I really don't like society. Ha ha, of course. Yeah, we're gonna go with the joke. <laughs> of course, I'm just kidding. Society is great. Oh, totally great. Why is it great? Oh, what, what the fuck? Why are you asking me so many questions all of a sudden, Marta? You're quite the interviewer, huh? Exactly, Jason. Aha, hey, you're not, you're the one making all the bold statements. Okay, you have a point, Marta. I'm starting to like you, girl. Aha, okay, so society is great because People are great. We're making progress. Oh. I'm gonna go with people are great. People are great! Oh, uh, well, why are they so great? Stop it, Marta! I'm not here to talk about- Okay, I, I guess I kind of did this to myself. Let's go back to the movie! I don't know, I feel like we're all connected and subconsciously we're all in it together. Good answer, Jason. Like we bicker, we argue, and we fight, but at the end of the day, if a giant meteor was flying towards us in space, we put aside our differences and work together to stop it. You know what, Jason? You are absolutely right. Wow, you know, I kind of agree. I never really thought about it that way. You're a pretty smart guy, Jason. <laughs> yes, I am. Me? Oh, shucks. You flatter me. Oh, she's hitting on us, boys and girls. She's hitting on us. Marta wants me. Hey, how about we dot 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 eat some chocolate covered strawberries? Mm-hmm. Play a game! Ooh, twister. Okay, what do you have in mind? Let's play truth or dare. Oh gosh. This is getting kinky. Ah, uh, what is this? Sixth grade? She knows she's into it. You chicken? Yup. We don't have to if you don't want to. So I would definitely go for you chicken. That w that's just how I am. What, you chicken or something? Me? No way. Oh, we called her bluff. She's ready, her pride's on the stake. But you're going first since it's your idea. What? It's ladies first. Are you kidding me? Here we go. Works for me. I ain't no chicken. Okay, Jason, truth or dare? Uh huh. So I don't like truth. I I'm gonna go with dare. Even if it's something nasty. Let's see, dare. Aha, uh -huh, glad to see you're not a wimp. Of course not. I wouldn't bring up this game if I was a wimp. How dare you. Okay, I dare you to. Yes. Hold on, trying to think of a good one. <laughs> First thing that comes to mind. Uh-oh. I dare you to do your sexiest dance. Oh, baby. Haha, <laughs> you're joking, right? She didn't know what she just asked for. 
It just so happens that I'm a sexy dancer in real life. Why would I be joking? What? You scared? Oh, now she's challenging my pride. It's on, baby. I don't want to scare you. A little. Psh, I ain't scared. Okay. I'm going to go with I don't want to scare you. Because, I mean, I might be a sexy dancer in real life. But the truth is I can't dance. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't want to scare you. Oh, here it goes. Oh, gosh. Look at him strutting out. Oh. Hammer time, moonwalk, or twerk. So, me being of the times, you know what I mean? The modern age. Moonwalk was in the 80s. Hammer time was in the 80s. I'm a 90s baby. So I'm gonna go with that twerk. Because everybody likes to see that booty do some work. Oh, yeah. Oh, hit it, Jason. Hit it, Jason. Ha, ha, ha. OMG. Oh, yeah. This is exactly something I would do in real life. You are so funny. Be careful, Jason. We don't want to get friend zone. What can I say? But I was born this way. Damn, look at him move that booty. Shake your booty. Shake your booty. Aha! Hold the applause, please. There you go, Jason. She's loving this. Look at her. Marta, haha, that was amazing. Why, thank you. Okay, your turn, Marta. Truth or dare? Girl, you better do dare. Don't go wimpy on me. Although I wouldn't mind doing a dare, gonna have to go with truth into already steamy enough in here with that dance you did. Hee <laughs> hee. Man, you lame, Marta. Aha, uh -huh, understandable. Okay, my question for you is... Oh gosh. What's your biggest fear? What do you think of me? What's your deepest, darkest secret? Ooh. Ooh. So what's your biggest fear seems like it's too easy. You know what I mean? What do you think of me? It's kind of like, oh, I just made a move. So that's kind of cool. And then what's your deepest, darkest secret? Hmm. Oh, I think I'm going to go with the middle choice. What do you think of me? I think this would be, I would see this as my opportunity to make my move and go for that bow chicka wow wow. What do you think about me? Oh, um, yeah, you seem like a really great guy, Jason. I just don't know you that well yet. Now do we persist, withdraw, but don't apologize, withdraw and apologize. So I feel like you should never ever apologize. So I was always told girls like guys that are confident in their, you know, decisions and they don't want a guy that apologizes a lot. So I'm gonna go for persist. Are you sure? Oh yeah, that's a good question right there. Yeah, I'm sure though. I admire your persistence, haha. -ha. Ooh yeah, making them brownie points. Well, at least I tried, right? Haha, <laughs> yeah, blush. Ooh! Oh, we got her face turning red. Let's get back to the show, huh? Ooh, good change right there. Good transition. Okay. Take it slow, but not too slow. We want to put a little bit of pressure on her so she can fall in love with me. You know what I mean? We gotta make her fall in love with me. All right. Hey, it's been nice, but I think it's about time I left. The movie's only been going on for like 30 minutes. What do you mean you're gonna leave? You can't leave yet. What? So soon? Oh. Yeah, I'm just... I have some laundry to do. What do you mean you have laundry to do? I'm gonna ask you to stay for a little longer. Come on, just stay for a little bit longer. I'm having a good time. I don't know. I have work tomorrow and I should be getting to bed early. Girl, don't be lying. Tomorrow is Saturday. No one works on a Saturday. Stand up and convince her. Oh, I don't know. Let her go? Okay, I guess I'll let her go. I don't want to be too pushy. Okay, then. It was fun. Have a good night. Aren't you going to walk her to the door, Jason? Walk her to the door. It's been fun. Have a good night, Jason. No, don't let her go. You too, Marta. Don't let her go without getting up and saying goodbye. What are you doing, Jason? What are you doing? No. No! Oh man, does this mean I failed? Oh dang it! So, round one, as Puggle would do it, is a failure. Don't do it like me, boys and girls. Disclaimer, do not take my advice on any of this stuff because this is a game, this is not real life. Please, please do not do this in real life. All right, so now 
we are going to go on to the next method. And this one, I'm going to be really aggressive. And we'll see how that goes, all right? Okay, so I just went on the extremely aggressive route. And I was basically like, I made my move early on. She didn't want it, of course. She blushed. I, uh, I continued. I did most of the same stuff. But I also did the truth or dare thing again. I asked her how she felt about me. Persisted. Did the twerk. She liked it. And apparently, since I made the move early on, she likes me. As you can see right here, Jace up plus Marta equals love. Yeah. Bow chicka wow wow. Oh yeah. Your boy Puggle did it. He knows how love works. So all you gotta do is go in for it within two seconds of knowing the girl. Apparently they love that stuff when you Netflix and chill them. <laughs> like let's be honest, who goes in Netflix and chills and watches a show? Like for real? We all know what it is for. The bow bow chicka wow wow. Okay, so now, oh, oh, one second, oh, oh, as you can see, the ending is a little bit different. This time, Marta is there with Jason at the end. So this time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to approach it in the meanest way possible, and I'm going to see what happens at the end, and I will see you guys in just one second. Okay, so I did everything in the worst possible way that you could do this. I did, I took all the steps that you shouldn't do on a date. I talked about politics. Instead of doing the dare, I did truth. And she asked me what I thought about her. And I told her, you're all right, I guess. She did not like that, as you can imagine. <laughs> and then uh, we talked about politics. That actually didn't go so bad, apparently. She ended up enjoying what I was saying, even though I figured you probably shouldn't talk about it. But here we are at the end. Let's see how this is gonna turn out. What, so soon? Yeah, I'm just, I have some laundry to do. Sure, Marta, you just don't want to be with me. Ask her to stay for a little while longer. Come on, stay for a little bit longer. I'm having a good time being mean to you. But I don't know. I have work tomorrow and I should be getting to bed early. Sure. Stand up and convince her. You have to stay, Marta. I love her. <laughs> I can get snacks. You're making a big mistake. Tell her you really like her. What about the option to tell her you really love her? So I think the best option for us to go here is I can get snacks. I can, I can get snacks. What girl doesn't want to hear that? I mean, she might just be hangry because I didn't provide no chips or nothing. So let, let's see how that goes. Haha, no thank you. I'm not hungry. Oh. It's been fun. Have a good night, Jason. No, oh, you can't end like this. We have to bow chicka wow wow. You too, Marta. No. No, Marta. You can't leave me like this. No. Also, we watched a superhero movie instead of romantic comedy. I forgot to mention that. Okay, so the puggle approach did not work. The mean approach did not work. But you know what did work? The aggressive love approach did work. The girl loved it. Marta was all over that crap, and she spent the night even though she has to work the next day. So tell me what you guys thought about this game. Leave your comments down in the comment section down below. Go ahead and smash that like button because I know you guys enjoy Netflix and chill with me. And make sure you subscribe so you can see when I put up new content. Thank you guys so much for watching this. I will catch you in the next one. Puggle.